Hi guys, I'm Phil and it's the 24th of November 2022 and this is the marketing and AI news for today. So before we jump into the articles guys, I've left a lot of uh, links in the description below to help you on your journey. Lots of free resources which I think are really, really good. Some of my own, <laughs> I would think they were good and mainly from external sources well. So they're, they're all free guys, they all should help you and if you want to have a look then, then have a look. Anyway, jumping straight on. So five principles to follow when allocating in your marketing budget in an uncertain economy. We're certainly in that, and this is from Forbes. So let's jump down to the, the meat of the article as it appertains to us. So the saying here, start with digital. So if you're not taking a digital first marketing strategy, then you're already behind. And this is true. From my own experience, about 50% of the companies I, I talk to, between and the small to medium-sized enterprises, about 50% of them do have a, a base of digital assets, but I'd say around 90% of them haven't got a coherent marketing strategy put together to make them work for them. It's a very ad hoc kind of fuzzy uh, approach that they're taking. So that's not the best way to do it, guys. There's a link in the description below of how you can structure this. It's a simple flow chart and what you need to do for your particular situation. So this appertains also to B2B and B2C customers. It's critical, guys. We're, you know, so the world has moved on, and if you're not taking the lead in your industry, in your locality, with um, a digital first marketing strategy, you're going to fall behind. Because I can guarantee that at least one of your competitors, if there's if there's five of you in the field, then one of you will actually be putting this into place, and they're probably going to steal market share from you. Simple as that. So the talking about automation and AI, really, really important. So. Later on, the talking here, uh, I'll leave a link to this, this article as well. You can go through it yourself. So what I'm saying is SEO search engine optimization. So getting your site seen or your assets seen in Google, the search engines. That This includes your Google My Business Profile as well. That you're going to have to have some regular content supplied to or put on your, your assets. So this is a big time sink for lots of companies if you haven't got a dedicated team. But there's lots of AI solutions on the marketplace starting from, you know, less than $100 who can actually really, really, really help in this streamline your content creation process. So you can actually create content in literally minutes. And if you can put five, 10 minutes away a week, you can keep refreshing your your digital assets on Google, your website, Google My Business Profile, etc., And that in turn, Google will notice this, notice that you've got relevant information coming on board and also that you're publishing on a frequent basis, which will help Google put your um, assets higher in the search results because the information is timely and relevant, first and foremost, guys. guys. So on to the next, next um, article. Okay, this is by Business Wire, guys. And it's an AI generation uh, scorecard and an analytics report. So this is a synopsis of a report that's being published. But I, I wanted to share this with you because it shows just how critical this is becoming and how mainstream it's becoming. So this is kind of also the point that if you're not taking a digital first marketing strategy, you are going to fall behind. There's no two ways about it. This doesn't need to be complicated. It's very easy to do, guys. So... Um, they're talking about the the content generation tools. So these products are being adopted by more and more entities because they radically speed up the creation of content. It's incredible what they do, guys. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to one of my videos, which will show you how quickly you can do this, guys, and how easy it is to do. So they this particular scorecard focuses on uh, how AI content gener generation tools help me to reduce time to market, which is really, really critical because it's speed nowadays, guys, isn't it? Things happen so quick, quick. We've got to be on top of our game and content for the search engines is one of the ways that we do that. Uh, they also look at what makes a good AI content tool. So I can tell you that straight away, guys. It needs to produce content that is relevant, that is readable, and that you can put your own stamp on. So unless you find tuning, which I can talk about in a different video, we'd like to, to know about that. The, the content that will be developed by the tools will be, it will be readable, it will be useful, but you need to put your own voice on it, your own stamp, so it matches your brand 
and the personality of your business and the players in your business. Critical, because Google will tell if it's pure AI content and it won't fly, guys. Um, what are some of the best AI, AI content tools available on the marketplace? Where you, you can look at this article if you uh, want to see more about that. Uh, and why has AI content, the content market, grown so rapidly? Simply because there's a huge demand for content, guys. The amount of time people spend on the web now is, is huge. And also, if you look at the B2B market, business to business, most of the time spent by purchasers is spent when, when they're looking for new products, new suppliers, is spent doing online research. So unless you've got your assets there, given valuable information, useful information, then your competitors are going to steal the marketplace from you. So like I say, I'll leave a link in the description to this article. Right, next up, how AI affects MSM. I had to look this up, guys. I didn't know what the M stood for, so it's micro. So micro to small, medium, medium-sized enterprises. So I went through this article, and the, the key points are, according to reports, AI is estimated to, be, to increase business productivity levels by up to 40% by 20, 2035. The, this is going to be huge, guys. Get in now and make sure you're part of this new this new field and this new opportunity. Uh, they're talking about machine learning, cybersecurity, customer relationship management. AI is playing a vital role everywhere. It is, guys, and you don't really need to know about that. You've got to look at your processes, see where your key processes are, look to see if there's AI tools that can help you optimize those if they're not already optimized, and also look at the... The processes that you wish you had time to do, one of them is content creation, but you just simply haven't got the resources or time within your business to do that. Look to the AI solutions to plug that gap and it makes a really, really good and effective combination. Um, let's see what else. It does enhance better customer engagement. We've all experienced AI chatbots. They get more and more sophisticated and easier to deploy. Smart marketing, yes, smart marketing is there with AI. Um, and in conclusion, guys, that's without going on too long. So it's observed that SMEs, small to medium sized enterprises that implement digital technologies supported by AI increase their productivity and competitive edge. There's no figures here, 40%, 50%, whatever. But from my experience, I, I can see for the companies that I deal with in the marketing endeavors, it increased it by between 25 and 50%. It's huge, guys. So Hope this has been helpful to you guys. Any questions, leave a link or leave a comment in the description below. And if you want to have a chat, see how these assets, these productivity tools can help you, I'll leave a link in the description and we, we can have a, a brief chat and I can direct you in the, uh, the right direction. And in the meantime, take care and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.